How is everyone? Good. Good. Yes, everyone. What news have you brought? Colonel, we have nothing to report. What? At ease. You all know Dr. Harper? Yes. Yes. Well, Dr. You've come for the toys for the Christmas fun. Oh, yes. That's a splendid work you all do. Fixing up the Scarry toys to give poorer children a happier Christmas. She gives us something to do while we have to sit around the station. Get tired of playing cars, so you start cleaning your gun the first thing you know you start yourself in the foot. Teddy, Teddy, go upstairs into that big box from your Aunt Martha's room. How is Mr. Brophy today? Mr. Brophy has been quite ill, Dr. Harper. In the moon, yes. Charge! I'm sorry to hear that. He's better now, still a little weak now. I'm gonna get you some beef broth and cake for him. Don't bother Miss Abby, you've done so much for him already. We made it this morning. This is Martha and Nellie are asking from the poor Mr. Beninsky. I won't be a minute, sit down and be comfortable, all of you. So you shouldn't go through all that trouble. Listen, try to stop her sister, her sisters from something nice every nothing. They did, but now you carry your boat. Yes, you have three kinds of hands on this side of them. When I received my call to Brooklyn, and knew him next door, my wife wasn't well. When she died, and for months before, well, if I know what pure kindness and absolute generosity are, it's because I've known the Mercer sisters. Colonel, you promised not to do that. Why, well, I have to go to the cabin meeting for the least of those supplies. He's a dude out in the middle of the night. The neighbors raised hay with us. They're a little afraid of him anyway. Oh, he's quite harmless. Damn shame, a nice guy like this, Pat Chicken. Well, his father, the old girl's brother, some sort of genius, wasn't he? And their father, Teddy's grandfather, seems to me he was a little crazy too. He was crazy like a fox, he made a million dollars. Really? You're a Brooklyn? Yeah, Pat Madison. He was kind of fine of some sort. He was old, so old, but such with Edwards and members of him. He used a house in like a clinic, trying on people. But you're used like the stage occasionally too. The department never bothered him much. He was pretty useful in all the lobbies sometimes, especially in losing cases. Well, with every day, he left his daughters to risk your life, thank God for that. Yeah, but now they didn't spend any of themselves. Yes, I'm well acquainted with their charities. Yeah, no, no, it's not. I once worked for this missing persons bureau with this old man. We never did actually find Do you guys know that there's a random city that has the biggest house on this list of first groups? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. Whatever it does, anyway. Anyway. Well, they may not rent rooms. Do you think it's true that anyone who comes in, comes in here with at least half a time a good meal? And do you get dollars in their picture? It's just a way to tell people to do some good, too. <laughs> well, now, isn't this nice? Hey, hey, Mr. Sister. How do you do, everyone? Good. How are you? We've dropped a little of Christmas toy. Oh, yes, Penny's Army and Navy. They're all packed. They're upstairs. The girls also so after them. It seems the cabin has to pay it. Yes, of course. I hope Mr. Brophy's better. <coughs> He's better now. Your sister's hit in the kitchen for me to bring some soup to him. Oh, yes, we made it this morning. Martha and I just took some to a poor man who broke ever so many bones. <laughs> oh, you're back, Martha and Nellie. How is Mr. Beninsky? Well, dear, it's pretty serious. The doctor was there. He's going to amputate in the morning. Can we be present? No, I asked him, but he said it's against the rules of the hospital. You couldn't be of any service. You must spare yourself something. Give me raw up, Mr. Brophy. Be sure it's been time. Thank you. Yes, yeah, South Valley boys, that's about soldiers. Oh. So General Miles, I'm retired. What's this? The Oregon? Teddy, dear. No! The working goes to Australia! Now, Teddy. I give him my word to fighting Bob Evans. But, Teddy, what's the difference one kid gets it? Bobby Evans? Is he co head? Well, wrong, man. Thank you very much. Not at all. Goodbye. I just thought of the story. Did you have time, Mom, to make your whistle? Oh. You finished? Hey, what? The whole force is looking for you. Did they send you here for me? We didn't know you were here. We came to my old lady's to tell a penny cat. You can help you the fuel again all night. But the way the neighbors are calling, you think the Germans got the bomb off the shadow. The lieutenant's on a warpath. 
She says the crow must be put away from place. Yes, yes. Gee, Mr. Brewster, I gotta get away. So I'll just run through the third act quick. Get away from me! Is that your time? It's after 8 o'clock in the morning. It is? Gee, Mr. Brewster, the first two acts are a little long. But well, I don't see anything you can leave out. You can leave it all out. Who the hell is that guy? That's my brother. Oh, the brother ran away. So he's come back? Yeah, he came back. This is broken. Get me Mac. I brought up the nugget bathroom, Joe. Mac? Tell the lieutenant he can call the big man on. He found him. He's in the Brewster house. What does it ring with? Oh, all right. The lieutenant's on her way over. I've been turned in, eh? And I suppose you and that stupid brother of mine are going to split the reward? Reward? Now I got to put in my own food. You think my aunt is such sweet, charming old ladies, don't you? They have 13 bodies buried in their cellar. Teddy! 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 What the hell are you talking about? You better be careful what you're saying about your aunt. I'm happy to be friends of mine. I'll show you. I'll look at you. Come with me down to the cellar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 13 bodies. Come on. I'll show you what they're all buried. Oh, yeah? You don't want to see what's down in the cellar? Go on down in the cellar with him, Abe. I'm not so sure I want to be down in the cellar with him. <laughs> I mean, just look at him. He looks like Boris Karloff. <laughs> what do you think you're doing?
can the seniors all come up, please? All right. I want to thank all of them for this has just been a great, great year. And oh, there goes Hank. All right. And, um, oh my God, you don't need Come on, come up there. All right. I want to thank you guys so much for the last couple of years. You guys have been amazing. And I really appreciate it. I want to thank Miss B for firing for just doing this great play. <laughs> and the thing I love about drama club is the most is it doesn't matter what your ability is or whatever you have. It doesn't matter as long if this club this club is for everybody. And I'm glad that we can have this for everyone. And I really <laughs>